TopRepublican.News. This is Jack Eason speaking. Well, there are a lot of videos going around the internet, YouTube, the social media, talking about something called Trump derangement syndrome. Now, this was started off a, a little bit as a joke by some conservatives, but has taken on new meaning, particularly in the last few months. Actually, it's a legitimate health condition, a mental health condition, that a lot of, well, let's put it kindly, liberal libtards are experiencing. One of the most uh, interesting ones was recently with Whoopi Goldberg on The View with Judge uh, Janine. And Judge Janine said, you know, Whoopi, you're suffering from Trump derangement syndrome. And that's when Whoopi kind of snapped. I mean, basically, it triggered her. And today, I really want to talk about this Trump derangement syndrome. And it's also known as Trump anxiety disorder. Trump anxiety disorder. And some psychologists and psychiatrists are actually calling it that. And we'll take a look at some of the people that... Uh, are involved in this or that have it and take a look at their face uh, when you see the pictures and their emotional anxiety order and the cause of it and maybe some potential solutions well if you look at the screen the liberal socialist faces their countenance on how their faces look when they are triggered simply by saying the word Trump or President Trump now, I personally experienced this where I see a person's entire demeanor change as soon as I say the word Trump. And I've also noticed it's a little bit lesser uh, triggering when I say the word the president. But in any event, these are people that have an emotional disorder related to politics. And if you look at their faces and their countenance, it's just unbelievable how they change. It's a bit of some type of mind control or words that just trigger them into an emotional high and there is no reasoning with them. There's nothing you can say where they're going to respond because there's too much noise inside their minds. And it's truly some type of mental disorder. Now, a few years back, Dr. Michael Savage wrote a great book called Liberalism is a Mental Disorder. And he was a little bit of predictive on that and futuristic because he's exactly right. And it's getting worse and worse. If you take a look at some of the suffering that these people are experiencing, Gary Franchi of the Next News Network did a great report on a woman, 25 years old, out of Massachusetts, who was driving, and another gentleman who's about 32 years old, and he was driving a Jeep, and on the back of his bumper, it said, Trump, make America great again. It's a little bumper sticker. He was just driving down the road, and he started to hear screaming uh, from this car where this woman was driving the car. And she basically started ramming into his Jeep merely because he had a bumper sticker that said, Trump, make America great again. And it triggered her. And she got arrested. It took about a month, but she got arrested. And is now standing trial for uh, assault and a number of other things. But it's criminal, what she did. And she snapped. Now, this is part of this mind control thing that has been happening. So, when you look at the faces of these people, and then the how they act out on it, you want to find out who is causing this. Well, obviously, everyone's responsible for themselves. But in most cases, from what we can determine, and this has been verified by a number of researchers, it's the mainstream media, fake news. They're whipping people up against the president. But it's just not the president, Donald Trump. It's more than that. They're whipping them up with lies. And people are believing these lies. And in order to solve this problem into a potential solution, you have to stop listening to the lies. Now, we as Trump Republicans, we're kind of gone through all this process, so we're not as affected by it. 
but you have to be a little gentle with these libtards because they are truly suffering a mental disorder. And the only way to help them stop is that the libtards need to stop listening to the lies. They need to stop and think. Is this true or not? And think for themselves. Not merely having a word said to you and then say, oh, everybody's a racist, it's Nazis, they're blah, blah, blah. They have to stop and think. And that's very difficult for a lot of people. But they have to also face reality. And reality includes being responsible and probably having a job so that they understand how the society works a little bit better. The things that we can do, well, we can encourage them to walk away, as people are doing in the walk away movement. And we just have to do it in a kind way. So be gentle with the libtards, because they're acting out something fierce. We at TrumpRepublican.News, we awoke to the truth in America and what's happening around the world some time ago, as you have, the listener here. And be careful of the Trump derangement syndrome and the Trump anxiety syndrome and disorder people, because they will act out in a dangerous fashion. Well... That's it for now. We invite you to go to TrumpRepublican.News, TrumpRepublican.News, our website, and pick up the latest information. If you'd like to make a contribution, there's a donate page. And we certainly appreciate every Trump Republican out there that's working hard to make America great again. And like President Trump says, keep moving forward. Never, ever give up. God bless.